show me cute. I have found some adorable do-it-yourself Valentine fashion ideas. I have everything all ready to go, so let's jump right in. All right, for your supplies, you need these Tulip brand glitter iron-on sheets. I found them at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, or Joann's. Don't forget to take your coupon. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need an iron and an ironing board and a shirt or leggings or whatever you're going to be decorating and then your pattern. I just printed mine off of Google Images. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take your pattern and place it on the back side of your glitter sheet. This is going to be the nice smooth side of the sheet. Then you're going to take your pattern and place it and trace it with a sharpie. Make sure you trace as close together as possible so you don't waste any of your glitter. Then take a nice sharp pair of scissors and cut out your image. To copy this design, simply place your shirt down and put your hearts on. Make sure that they're straight in all angles. With your iron on its highest setting and dry, meaning the steam's turned off, place a handkerchief or any kind of thin material you have on top of your image. Then take your iron and start pressing. You want to iron for 30 to 40 seconds, making sure that all edges of your heart are adhered to your garment. To do elbow or knee patches, I recommend you try on your garment and measure or mark where you want them to go. Then place them on the board, make sure both are even, and iron them on. I think these have turned out adorable. I'm going to be trying a whole bunch of different other color combinations. So be sure to check out showmecute.com for pictures of other co color combinations. That's a tongue twister. Um, also, if you wanted to do cute leggings and do knee patches, you would do it the exact same as we did the elbow patches in this video. So stay tuned all month long where I'm going to have more Valentine ideas for you from jewelry to yummy foods to eat to making homemade Valentines, all kinds of things. Um, be sure to leave comments in the section below and let me know what you think and like this video and we will see you next week. Bye!